Hi, this is Sean. This is a quick tutorial showing how to use alignment for organizing your blueprints. So what am I talking about? Well, if you use some hotkeys, you can rapidly select the nodes in your blueprints and organize them in a way that can really help you to get your blueprints more easily readable, as well as uh, using comments. So quickly, how do you set this up? Well, you go under the edit editor preferences, and then inside the editor preferences, go to general and keyboard shortcuts. And then we're in the graph editor. So the graph editor is a little bit further up here. There we are, graph editor. And I've got the align bottom set, align top set, and then what I showed in the beginning of this tutorial was distribute horizontally, but you can also sometimes use distribute vertically if you're using something like maybe a sequence node. Uh, also, the one that I use the most right now is the straightened connection using the space bar, but in terms of zooming in and zooming out, sometimes that's useful. And uh, for debugging, toggling breakpoints. All right, so let me quickly also discuss how some of the specifics of how this works like the distribute horizontal if you wanted less space between these nodes you can the way it works is it it works based on how much total space that you've got between the selected nodes um, so you can move your blueprints around using the arrow keys and so if you wanted less space between these total nodes you could make the total space smaller and then just hit I've got shift H set to those nodes uh, the other thing is they work according to a parent-child relationship so meaning in the way I remember it is that the children come first but then they follow the parent and the parents come last so if I select this first and then I control click this second and hit the space bar, they will follow the parent node. So I'm going to hit the space bar and there it goes. It's followed the parent. Same thing with this. And then we might want to nudge these closer together and redistribute those if you want them to um, be distributed. All right. So that's really helpful. Also, if you haven't got those key uh, keystrokes remembered for adding comments, select the nodes, hit comment. Then you can also change the color, which is really useful if you have lots of nodes that you're doing. The other thing that's great about comments is if you have a lot of nodes, then you can rapidly know what things that you're, uh, what groups of nodes are doing. Um, the other thing is uh, the reroute nodes are, you can add those by double clicking, really useful for when you're tying together a bunch of nodes. And then finally, of course, just use a lot of functions to help organize and um, your the nodes that you've put together. So that's pretty much it. Thanks so much for watching. Have a good one.